reason to get out my mind Please First of all, hydrate, then caffeinate. You know the drill. Drill? I always struggle to articulate myself in the mornings. I always find that's a really hard challenge for me. I don't know about anyone else, but it looks like it's not just a prep thing. Breakfast, one egg, four bacon medallions, two pieces of sourdough. That shit is dense. 25 gram of carb in each one, banging. Now, no, I do not usually meal prep every single day, but when I need to, for example, when I've got university um, or I need to be places at specific times, I will find it's helpful when I've just got a spare bit of time just to whack together some food and stick it in the fridge. I'm not spending an extra half an hour cooking before I need to be anywhere. I have to say, that breakfast was delightful. One egg, four bacon medallions, two pieces of sourdough. I think I said it on my story yesterday, sourdough is like Warburton's bread, but on TRT. Not only is that shit dense, if you're actually like trying to bulk up at the moment, I would highly recommend 25 gram of carb in each one. Four slices of toast, 100 gram of carb. I'd say that's a pretty good turnover ratio if you're on a bulk. If you're on prep, don't go anywhere near sourdough, mate. Don't go anywhere near sourdough. Gonna go run some client check-ins now, um, and then I've got to head to university. And then we've got a good day ahead, people. So that was a very pointless lecture, but about half an hour of it playing Kahoot. Don't get me wrong, it was very fun, but I'm now in my final year of uni, so I've got my dissertation to do, which I'm actually quite excited for. Now hear me out. Sorry, I got some uh, frozen fruit almonds right now because I was picking out strawberries in my fridge. Ugh. So I'm actually doing my dissertation on the effect of different carbohydrate sources pre-workout. So one group will just have a glass of water with sweetener and food coloring. Second group will have a glass of water with 30 grams of carbohydrates coming from glucose, like sugar. And the third group will have 30 grams of carbs coming from 20 grams of glucose, so 20 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of something called fructose. Fructose and glucose are very similar. They have the exact same chemical formula. They are the same amount of calories. However, fructose, as kind of a name, is sugars which come from fruit. Now, again, I'm gonna get a little bit optimal, a little bit snazzy. Your body can uptake them in different ways. So glucose is uptaken by something SLG1, SG, it's called sodium glucose transporter one. Big fancy words as always. However, fructose is taken up by something called a glucose transporter. I believe it might be glucose transporter two, I think, but don't hold my word for it. So technically, if you have a mixture of a two to one ratio of glucose to fructose, you can take up more carbohydrates because you're using a different glucose transporter compared to fully saturating one of them and not being able to uptake anymore you can utilize the other one sorry i've just bored you all out but i'm actually quite interested about it right i'm gonna go walk into town and go in the coffee shop because i've got some check-ins to do i've got a client call to do with a guy from norway which is very exciting sometimes i wonder how i end up in these places like how do i end up getting client calls and consult calls in norway i'm from england but yeah it's 20 to 11. i bought a pret a monsieur monsieur i believe it's called subscription which is 15 pounds for the first month and then 30 pounds for the second month and you get five free coffees a day which is insane like as someone who spends a lot of their time in coffee shops because i hate doing work in my bedroom and i like to kind of associate my bedroom with like chilling out um, compared to a lot of work and a lot of stress. I'd end up just running myself up the walls crazy. I figured that out. If I spent three pound of coffee a day for every day in a month, I would spend something like 90 quid. However, if I spend like 15 or 30 quid, it's so much better value for money. And also it's like a 45 minute walk away. So it's a, it's a good bit of exercise, good bit of steps in, um, keeping that cardio up. But then after that, we've got rest day. And when I say rest day, I mean arms. Arms and cardio. Proper Sam Sulek style, am I right? And I'm gonna bring my road mic with me, just like the boy himself. Um, gonna bring this with me and do you guys a little bit of a talk through. Um, as this is a session which my coach actually hasn't programmed, but I just enjoy doing it myself, so I do it. So I could talk you through the logic on why we're doing certain movements, what sets, what reps, etc., etc. Just spent a lovely Wednesday afternoon in a coffee shop, as always. And now it's time for rest day cardio and motherfucking arms. I just really enjoy training arms at the moment. You know, just getting that 17, 18 year old pure gym arm pump is just enjoyable. And I'm gonna do, on top of my regimented program stuff, 
what I want to do in terms of enjoyment because I think enjoyment is very much a translation into longevity within the sport of quote-unquote bodybuilding but also just enjoying training not making it too regimented um, like yes I've got some regimented sets reps stuff like that I need to kind of tick off but after that half time I just enjoy myself realistically no one's ever had too big enough arms Cuba clips I will see you guys in the gym. This is gonna be a weird little session. Instead of being like a little compilation, oh, camera almost went. See those spidey, spidey instincts. This is going to be a little bit of a walkthrough session in terms of usually, I would just film myself lifting weights and uh, yeah, putting some cool music behind it. But it's rest day, rest day cardio, 25 minutes going in. Gotta keep the heart healthy when a bit heavier, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna talk through all my arm exercises. It's something I quite enjoy, so. I'm very happy to kind of do that. Um, but yeah, first off, I believe we will have preach girls um, just after we box off this cardio, which I have got one minute left. Um, yeah, peeps, let's get into it. There we go, people. First exercise, prime preacher curl. Now, the kind of structure we're going to be running for this whole session is, first of all, we're going to look at targeting all the muscles in the arm, aka the tricep and the bicep, in a shorter range first. Mainly so we can pre-fatigue that range lubricate the elbow joint, get a good pump in, and then we'll go into the length and range work. So we've got the prime machine, which means we can also load it in that shortened range because this machine is beautiful and got different pins if you want to load it in the length and range, the shortened range, and the mid range. So top set in. We do kind of generally try and work on a three set basis. First set, five to 10. Second set, 10 to 15. Third set, 15 to 20. Keep it simple get good work in across all three rep ranges, low, medium, high, keep it simple people on arm day. Let's get it. Jesus. There's something about training arms post prep which I really enjoy. I used to hate training stuff like biceps. I really always enjoyed triceps, but in terms of biceps after prep, there's something I just love about it. It just brings me back to being like an 18 year old kid again in a pure gym, trying to get the most outrageous arm pump you could think about, because no other muscle group matches a pump like arms do. You just feel like a fucking 16 year old again, like the first time you stepped in the gym. It's unreal. Bash out a few more sets of this and then we're gonna go on to a single arm tricep extensions. Right, single arm tricep push down. Same reps as the preacher kill. We are looking at five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, basic shit. I like to think of this, instead of like an extension, think of it like a press. Really get over it and really control that eccentric, like use your tricep as a handbrake. I see a lot of people just like swinging about on this. Really try and slow down that eccentric with your tricep and they will fucking grow. Make sure you are in control of the whole movement from start to finish, including the change of direction. And that is how they will fucking grow. Simple as. Let's get it, five to 10. shot by a little bit we got four reps of the tricep extension great so we're now going to do the second set instead of trying to hit like 10 reps we're going to try and just get on that higher rep range a little bit of 10 to 15 so roughly looking at like 15 16 maybe um really kind of like weigh it out a little bit if you can imagine it's just a bit of intuition to be honest that's all it is so keep up with that bob's your uncle you know what i mean all right ladies and gents next up on the superior arm day hammer kills 
get that brachialis growing. Now we're simply just going to do this with a rope and a cable sack. Nothing too fancy. Same sets, same reps. 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. You know the drill. At this point, your arms should be fucking burst now, brother. Fucking burst. I've already just done the top set. 5 to 10, 10 to 15 times. Let's have it. Even better pump. Fucking rinse them partials. So you get big fucking arms full. Partials, joking. Calorie surplus, progressive overload. All that jazz. But mainly, train like a fucking animal. Right, if I was to do one fucking movement to grow your big old horseshoes on your arm, it would be an overhead extension. Because, mainly, two words again, you're gonna target your triceps in the lengthened range. But, what I would say, is make sure, again, you are controlling that eccentric. It's going to be massive in terms of stimulus with your tricep. Yes, if you extend at the elbow, you are gonna be using your tricep, but making sure you're controlling that eccentric is definitely gonna make sure you've got in control of a whole movement. So when you are progressively overloading and going up in weight, it is your tricep getting stronger, not your elbow joint getting more susceptible and more, what's the word? What's the word I'm trying to use? Not your, Basically, you're not progressively overloading your elbow joint instead of your fucking tricep. That's what we try and get. Um, yeah, if you've got a machine, brilliant. But you can easily set something like this up on a cable stack. Get a chair, literally set the height so it's, you don't want to be that like down here. But you want to add good height where you can get a good enough amount of elbow flexion. Um, and also you can get a good quote unquote stretch, as the old school bodybuilders would say. Um, but yeah. Get nice and comfortable with this movement basically and you'll get massive huge triceps. Let's get it. Add a little pause as well to it. Make the movement ten times juicier. that last eccentric as well. <laughs> Fuck hell. Jesus. You see a lot of people getting complacent when it comes to those later reps in the set. Make sure you are not, make sure you are really controlling it still. That is where the true growth happens. Again, horseshoe time. Oh, uh, that really did hurt. Now, I don't know why, but post prep, this is an exercise I've been absolutely loving for your biceps. I think it is like the alternative in terms of, if you take the Smith machine press or like a, a dumbbell press, in terms of resistance profiles, it is simply just up and down, super harsh, and then put it into a bicep movement, you'd get a seated dumbbell bicep curl. And it is pretty simple. You literally, all you have to do is sit down and then curl. Again, same sets, same reps, you know the vibe. And it literally is about how fucking hard you want it, how bad you want it, in terms of this, like, you can really rinse this movement more than you think you fucking can. And that's the reality of it, with a loss of movements. A lot of people are just pussies nowadays. Train hard. Like, training to failure means training till failure, like, till you fail half the time. Unless it's gonna put you at risk of injury. Um, but yeah, no, I'm gonna kinda show you this exercise and how you kinda do it, it's a juicy one. It's a fucking juicy one. Keep to the basics, people. Ah. 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 That's how you do it, people. Train like an animal, look like an animal, simple as. So that is arm day done. About five exercises roughly. 
Uh, probably something like 10 to 12 sets, I think it is. Maybe, yeah, we did, no, 15, 15 sets, actually. So maybe people think that might be overkill. Some people may think that might be underkill. Quite frankly, you're not doing it, so I don't care. Um, but yeah, let's check. Do a little Sam Sulek pump check, you know what I mean? See what we're looking like. Fucking hell. Yeah, I do not feel like I'm six kilos above stage weight. I feel like I'm like 20 kilos above stage weight. I am currently balancing my 700 pound camera setup on a spinny wheel. So yeah, maybe prep brain is still in. There we go. Oh, that's right. Hey, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so checked in. Yesterday morning, currently weighing 80 kilos. So we're looking at seven kilos above stage weight in six weeks, which a big spike of that is gonna be water weight, um, which is completely fine. Like realistically, my aim goal here is now not to try and get new lows or anything. Um, but yeah, we're feeling good. Training is amazing, which is all that matters. And I said this in a, in a reel quite recently. It's weird, because when you finish prep, you look so good and training shit. I mean, it flips on its head. So you, you start to feel like you look like shit, even though you don't but training becomes amazing as well. So it's kind of, you take it for what it is and kind of just progress through it, keep your head screwed on, you know what I mean? Um, so it's one of those things. But yeah, arm pump is definitely secured, so we're gonna grab that thumbnail now. I think my main goal for this quote unquote off season is first of all, not get, to get back up to 110 kilos. We do not need that. But uh, second of all, make my weak parts up, bring, yeah bring my weak parts up to scratch and get my strong parts even more strong. Um, just make them absolutely stupid. For example, my triceps are usually my strong point and I already want them to be bigger, like realistically. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab my thumbnail now because I'm a little, little whore for a, a bit of a clickbait title. But I'll most likely see you guys back at home when I'm uh, either scranning or just chatting pure mocha. There we go. Sometimes you don't have to be optimal. Sometimes you can just enjoy two good chicken burgers. I think it's very important that, again, I'm not even meant to be training today, so any sort of stimulus I get from my arm training um, is just an added bonus to me, realistically. And I didn't feel like having 100 grams of cereal. I just wanted some chicken burgers. But, of course, I will be grabbing my protein ice cream. If you've been following, you know. Um, but whilst I'm here, chuck a few other chicken breasts in the pan, meal prep them for tomorrow. Make life even a little bit easier for myself. Um, absolute goat of uh, no sugar drinks. Lemon Fanta, Aldi version, and what? But can we just take a second to appreciate these chicken burgers? Standard little changes to your diet, people, realistically. Chicken burgers, beef burgers, it's all healthy stuff and you can make that literally in a good 20 minutes and it's gorgeous and you actually enjoy it a lot more because you made it, you feel a little bit proud of it. And like as someone myself who actually really enjoys cooking, um, it's quite good. But yeah, I'm gonna go scram this. Now, you know what's coming. End of the day protocol is in. Protein ice cream, dark chocolate, peanut butter. Mmm. Never gets old. Never gets old. Now, I'm gonna be honest, peeps. Don't really know what this video was. Not too much structure to it. Just a bit of a raw video, as you would like it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more sort of content like this. Mic'd up stuff in the gym. A bit more casual. The bulk has not started yet. It will be starting soon. Will be starting soon. But yeah, if you did like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you want any protein, pre-workout, cream of rice, full ball sports, code Drew for a discount. Yeah, if you made it this far, comment what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Have a good one. Lots of love. Peace.